Hello everyone. This is a sleeper PC that I recently finished. Finished for now anyway. I'll explain more on that later. I ran into certain issues that made uh, me just not film certain things. So that I got honestly, I just got frustrated. Um, the other thing was that, well, putting together a PC three different times in three different cases is a lot of, takes a lot of time. So there's just a lot of footage that I honestly don't want to really edit. It ended up being nearly an hour and 20 minutes and I just don't want to do that. I'd rather keep it, you know, a short, simple little video. But anyway, uh, it is completed now, as you can see. And I will pop off the cover and show you what's going on. Side here. panels off. I'll start with the power supply. It's got a thermal take, tough power GF1, 850 watt power supply in it. Motherboard is a Gigabyte Z690. Graphics card is a GeForce RTX 3070 by Gigabyte. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I'll explain later that that was an issue I had. I don't remember what model this cooler is, but it's be quiet. The processor is a Intel i7 12th gen. And yeah, that's, that's the bulk of the normal pieces that you'd have. Oh, a one terabyte SSD on the motherboard. So, the issue I had with the RAM was that whenever it was sent to me, one of the sticks didn't work. And keep in mind, I'm not super savvy on computers, although I will say I have learned a lot from building this. Well, it took me a while to figure it out, is what I should say. But when I did, uh, I was able to figure out that, okay, one of the RAM sticks were bad. I used one stick of RAM in the meantime to put windows on it and set up some things. And then I sent back the two sticks of RAM because they come in a package of two 16 gigabyte. And then I got new ones, new, uh, two new ones. And that was that pretty much. The other issue I ran into was the case. As you can see, there was a big hole cut in the side of this. That's because this cooler is too large for this old case. I went through three different cases or two, I should say. I settled on the third one. Um, the first one was my stepmother's father case from one of his old computers that he had built. I thought it'd be kind of cool to use that the case was missing a part. And again, this cooler was too large. So I ended up deciding, okay, well, there's going to be, I'm going to go through so much, you know, putting a hole in it and having to put a top cover on it because it was missing the top cover. So I wasn't going to mess with that. Then I went with the set, another case I had which I believe I had gotten on the side of the road at one point, and I put some computer parts in. Uh, I didn't really build the PC. It, I really just moved some pieces from another computer into it, and it wasn't that expensive. Just, I think my mother's friend gave it to me. Um, but that case was rusty, and the graphics card would not fit. So I would have had to just... Even though even though the cooler would fit, I still would have had to do a ton of work on it. And I just didn't want to do that. And, you know, putting a nice new PC in a rusty case is kind of a dumb idea. I'll put a PC in an old case, but I'm not going to put it in a rusty case. So, a little while later, my dad said, Hey, I saw an old PC case on the side of the road. So I went and go to go check it out, and that's what I decided on going with. Uh, what originally was in this was um, a Windows XP machine, uh, nothing too crazy. And it had two drives. That's why I ended up putting a piece of wood here to cover up the hole and add a USB 3.0 to the front. For now, I'm finished with this computer. Uh, the last thing I eventually probably will do is add more storage. One terabyte is holding me off well enough right now. But in the future, I intend to add uh, one or two one terabyte hard drives up here. They're not gonna fit down here because of the cooler again. 
and I have drive bay adapters from five inch to three inch, so there's no problem there. But for now, this is the completed build, and what is coming next in the video will just be mainly me working on the case. I'm not going to go through the building of the PC. I'm sure there's plenty of other people who have built a somewhat similar range PC. Uh, that's not really what this video is going to be about. It's mainly going to be figuring out the fitting of the cooler in the case and the USB and how I made that. So anyway, sorry for the long intro. Enjoy the, the USB video. ports on the front. Um, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to put these two pieces of wood together. I'll get me right to the right in thickness. This plywood, it's like... Uh, I don't know, three eighths inch and quarter inch. And I'm, I'm doing this one hand, so it's a little difficult, but this will get me to right about where I need it to be, where these will be flush with the front of it. Cause I don't want to cut into one of these and I'm putting wood on the side anyway, so I might as well make it match. But yeah, I'm gonna trace this out and then I'm gonna cut the holes on this. And these came with screws, so I'll screw it in. And then I'll make a spot on the back for it to screw in to the five inch bay. Okay, I've got it fitted in. And actually I was able to get it um, tight enough to where I don't think I'm gonna have to screw it down or anything uh, to the bracket. It's just like the perfect fit. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll now get to mounting the USB ports on this and then I will shellac it. Okay, so here's my idea. I'm gonna use these little pieces of uh, plywood that I cut, and that's what I'm going to use to mount the USB ports up to. So now I'm just gonna glue those down. I shellacked the USB ports cover on the front, um, and now I'm beginning to work on the side panel because as you can see, I believe I mentioned this, the side panel will not fit with that cooler there. So um, what I'm going to do is cut a hole in the side and put plywood and like space it off. And I'm going to um, add a few extra fans as well uh, to increase airflow. All right, I've got it marked out where I want it. Um, these handles here kind of got in the way, but I believe I've kind of gotten that figured out. This is an inch and a half from this side, an inch and a half from this side. And this is, I think, uh two inches and a quarter or three and a quarter inches there because of the handle okay i got the hole cut out and uh, it's not perfect but like i said it's gonna get covered up anyway all right it fits and it's just enough clearance around there, around the cooler. I think I'm gonna start working on making the wooden piece that's gonna go over it and come out. I think it's gonna come out about an inch, uh, a little bit wider than what a fan is. All right, so what I decided to go with on the size is one and three quarter inch. And then that coupled with the quarter inch plywood that's gonna go on the top, or well, the side, um, will get me around two inches out I know it's slightly less than a uh, quarter of an inch, but that'll give me a lot of extra space um, just in case I need it. And uh, that should work. So I've got it uh, blocked off at uh, one and three quarter inch. So I'll go ahead and start cutting. I'm kind of glad I cut these a little bit longer than where I, where I was initially going to cut them because I think I can get one of the pieces of wood to go uh, right through here. So I'm only having to notch one spot and I'm not having to notch out a whole section like this. And it should give a cleaner look. And this will also kind of make it more centered on the case. But yeah, I'm going to miter 
uh, all these boards so they butt up together and the veneer is showing on the outside. Right, I'll cut those miters. I've made a block here to keep me from pushing it in too far. That's one of those things I do with miters is for whatever reason I always cut on the wrong side. So this will keep me from doing that. All right, here's all the side pieces mitered and just set on here. The only thing that happened is for some reason this piece came out a little bit thinner. I don't know how I managed to do that, but it's okay. It'll be on the bottom. Now what I'm doing is I'm going over and I'm sanding the side pieces. All right, now I'm going to cut out that side panel. So the larger fans came in for the side here. I'm going to attach this panel to the PC uh, and kind of make sure that there's going to be enough space for everything because I know the cooler is large. So I will just kind of see where everything's gonna fit up and then I'll come back out here and probably use my scroller saw to cut the quarter inch plywood for the fans. Well, I've just had another bump in the road on building this PC. I did not realize this was the five volt version, which means that this will be very difficult to plug into my PC while it's still possible. Um, I'd have to use USB and or some adapter and I just don't want to do all that. Uh, not only that, the 12 volt model comes with the um, low noise adapter, a splitter, and uh, a couple of other accessories that this one doesn't have. Uh, so I'm going to return this one and I'm going to grab a 12 volt model. The reason why I bought this one was because it was cheaper. And of course I should have been a little more vigilant on reading the description of it, but oh well, it'll uh, be a few days before I'm able to finish working on All this. All right, the proper fans have come in. So now what I'm going to do is drill a starter hole and then use my auto scroller saw to cut the holes out. All right, that's all cut out now. Now I just need to drill out the holes for mounting the fan. All right, now I'll sand this and clean it up. And uh, I'll make sure those little rubber things that Noctura provides with their fans fit in these holes. Actually, I might have to just go with the screws because these little things are really designed for a thin piece of sheet metal, as you would find on a, a computer case. And if you can see that little piece in the center there, it, it won't go through all the way and actually hold in. So I think I'm just gonna have to use screws. All right, I have the fans in there. Again, using the screws, not the little rubber isolators. Um, but the fans already have a bit of rubber on them, so they shouldn't be too noisy. It's not exactly perfect. There's some spots where the hole got cut a little bigger than it should have been. But this vent will go over this and should cover up most of the imperfections. Okay, so that's this panel pretty much all fit together. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble all that, glue the panel to this, uh, drill holes in the sheet metal, and then drill pilot holes into the wood. Uh, and I'm also going to glue the corners together. All right, I've screwed the half inch plywood onto the side panel for the computer here. And then this will fit on top like that. Gonna have to do a little more sanding. This turned out to be not quite as square as I thought it was. 
uh, but that's okay. In order to compensate for this little gap that ended up down here, you know, just that little space there, I cut some really thin, almost veneer plywood and uh, just going to glue it in there. With okay, I've got the half inch plywood portion all clamped up and I've got a speed square clamped there just to try and keep it square. And then I've got that little strip of veneer that I put on to thicken or uh, widen that piece is clamped down. Okay, now the quarter inch panel is being glued onto the half inch frame I made. All right, this is all glued together and I've got it pretty well sanded down. So now I'm going to shellac it. All right, I got it all shellacked. It came out pretty well. The sides in particular came out really well. Um, there's a little bit of streaking right here, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be super noticeable. If I feel that it doesn't look well enough, what I'll do is I'll take it off and I'll uh, sand it down and maybe add another layer. You can kind of see it in the light right there, but when you're not looking at it directly in the light, it looks all right. And besides, it's going to be facing this way anyway, so I'm not going to be really seeing the side. But yeah, so I'll start reassembling this piece and put it on the side panel and then put the side panel on the computer. So it's turned on. I mean, it's a computer, you know how those things are. Uh, anyway, so yeah, but the, the disk drive and the floppy drive work. And that was like the main thing about this build that I wanted. Um, and then I, I don't know why I just added this stupid sticker here I thought was funny. I don't think there's a whole lot more to say other than at some point I plan to add more storage but I've got plenty of storage on the SSD right now um, and hard drives are just gonna make more noise and heat so cosmetics wise it's from the outside it looks pretty much just like a kind of you know generic early 2000s full-size tower and uh, except for that on the side, the big bulge, or not really bulge addition, whatever you want to call it. I think the shellac came out pretty well on it, all things considered. It's actually pretty close in color to this uh, fake wood door here that's on my closet. I think I mentioned this is like an air register return for an um, air conditioning system. And like the only LED is on the graphics card there, which is pretty much covered up and barely visible. I'll demonstrate, this is the IDE optical drive working. You'll have to excuse my desk, it's a bit dirty. Yeah, this drive's a bit louder than the other one. I might be, uh, I might, I might be looking for another one that's might not be staying that's that's pretty ridiculous how loud that is i don't know if that's a bearing or what doing that floppy drive works i will show that real quick and of course because it's a floppy drive it's going to take forever but the fact that it works and it's functional makes me happy so i'm all right with that Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.